everyone, Moy Garcia Rebinds here. We have a new review for you, this amazing edition of the New King James Journal the Word Reference Bible Edition. I uh, reviewed in the past this edition of Journal the Word, but it had no references. This is a new edition that uh, Thomas Nelson has put out and includes their new uh, typeset. Uh, which I think is brilliant and in this edition comes in this amazing uh, navy blue color with this uh, turquoise uh, also uh, lovely uh, color with this uh, uh, pattern of flowers and, and so on uh, it comes with two uh, ribbons uh, navy blue ribbons as you can see right here uh, very nice it also comes with uh, a silver gilding all around Let's see, nice gilding, and um, it's a paste down. Uh, this is a kind of cardstock type of paper, paste down. So I don't know if that will last very long, but uh, nevertheless, if uh, you use this uh, in a proper manner, it should last you for many years. And eventually, if uh, when this breaks down, because uh, this is what happens with. Uh, this type of paper, you can always uh, rebind this uh, Bible in leather and have an amazing uh, Bible for yourself for many years to come. So you have here a presentation page this Bible belongs to, and indeed this is our journal, the Word Reference Bible Edition. This paper is kind of creamish, you can see here in the contrast, the cardstock is white, and this is the paper of the Bible, which is kind of a cream color. Uh, pretty nice. It's it seems it looks to me uh, uh, thick enough for for no taking and even journaling. So that should be a good thing. And um, we have here that this is actually printed in China. All right. And here we have uh, the table of contents. alphabetical order of the books of the Bible as you can see these titles are highlighted in this uh, dark red it's a kind of brown red which I think is very neat and very uh, classy that's the preface and this is our Old Testament page and here we have it. so Genesis as you can see right here, we have in the inner gutter right here all the references, one single column in a paragraph format of the text of the Bible, and we have here this awesome two inches wide margin with the very faintest uh, ruled uh, uh, notation area, right? That, uh, as you can see, is actually very fine dots. It's not there are no lines, but they are very fine dots. So uh, very, very, very smooth, very nice. I love this paper. It's very class. It's, it's lovely. And down the bottom we have all the translators' notes, as you can see. So we have on, on this area, on this column, the references, and right here we have the notes, we have the text, and as you can see, we have highlighted not only the titles of each uh, section of the scripture but also the chapters are also highlighted and also the uh, chapter and verse of each reference is also highlighted in this lovely uh, dark red. Now the font. The font is a, a New Thomas Nelson uh, comfort print. It says it's about eight, eight and a half but it reads a bit smaller yet is very dark it's a very bold typeset look and see this very readable i believe the reason why they made this a bit smaller is because obviously you have to put some room here you have to get some room here for the references and they have to shrink a little bit the the, the font size yet readable i would have liked the font to be maybe one point one point uh, bigger 
but that's fine. I can live with it. That's that's fine with me. Now I want to show you something that is really neat. When you go to the New Testament, you want to see that this is actually a red letter edition, which means the words of the Messiah are in red. Here we go. But the red used for the for the actual text is a different type of red than the red of the highlights. So you have a much brighter yet deep red on the text and the numbers and letters and, and highlights is a very uh, is a much darker kind of red. It looks more like a dark dark brown. Why would you choose this one or the actual uh, no reference edition which has a much larger font? Because if you want to study the word and you want to have your helps right here with you, I believe those references are, are, are good to have right there. And uh, also, if this Bible is going to be used also for, let's say, teaching or preaching, you to have that there, I think it's, it's a help. It's great. Um, that, it depends on what you're going to use this Bible for. Uh, if you don't care about uh, references, by all means, get the one without references. You're going to love and enjoy a much larger text, and uh, that will be my take on that. But if you're like me, that uh, you want to study the word and I go in depth with it, those references are also, are those references for me are, are, are excellent, and I'm happy to have them there. Now, this Bible is a bit chubby, it's a bit bulky, as you can see right here, All right? It's about nearly two, two inches thick, but it's, it's nearly hand size. It's, my hands are small, but look, it's a very, it's a hand size, a hand, very handy to carry. It's, it, it's not too heavy. I, I wouldn't have a problem to carry this around, and uh, I put all the measurements and dimensions in the description box for you, and a link as direct to to uh, an online store so you can get this Bible if you want to have it, if you want to get it. And uh, here we have the table of monies, weights, and measures. Also very nice. This is uh, colored. Uh, in dark in dark red and you have uh, different shades of gray as well to the ingredients shade to different lines here now the paper is smooth I like it it's very nice abbreviations for the books of the Bible dictionary and concordance so we have a dictionary concordance right here uh, and I'm gonna show you. It's not too exhausted, but it's nice to have it there. All right, there's a few pages right here, and uh, it's a double in a double column style with red highlights as well. I love it. Also great to have this in the end. And note, we have ruled pages notes in the back not many just a few but I think they are good to have for extensive notes that you may be working on the main text there you go and I know regarding the, the type used in this Bible now what I'll do is since I can't see to find this edition in the premium uh, uh, type of edition uh, I probably end up rebinding this this Bible in nice letter and probably I will add to the end of this a couple of extra uh, pages uh, for note taken and uh, I think that would make this Bible a premium Bible uh, and I will love using it because the NKJB is, is, my, is my favorite translation I use all the translations too, which I really love and I like and enjoy. 
and but this one is is my my favorite of all um, and I think uh, if you are an KJV uh, type of man or woman uh, you are gonna enjoy uh, studying the Word of God with this edition and uh, because of its size I think it's very portable and uh, if you if your eyes are not bad I think you'll be able to read this font no problem uh, it's a bit small I have to say it's a bit small not too small now but it is dark it is dark and well spaced between the, the lines and I think uh, uh, you can have a good use from this you can get a good use from this I think the font could be a bit bigger uh, if they would have done this in one point larger typeset I'll be delighted and also my preferences as you may already know is verse by verse I know this is a paragraph style it's okay uh, I'll use it too but this is my preferences you see like uh, in the poetry version or a uh, section the poetry section like in Proverbs you see all the verse by verse I think this is much better uh, for writing notes right next to each uh, line here like a book of Isaiah look at this I, I would love that that's my wish I hope uh, Thomas Nelson eventually will come out with something like this for us that love no taking and love uh, verse by verse edition like the old NKJV wide margin and uh, hopefully they will come up with something like this in this size I love this size uh, with a slightly larger font okay and uh, why not in a premium edition like they're coming out like the premiere uh, edition anyway that's my thoughts that's my review for today I hope you enjoyed it um, see you soon in another review or rebind until next time Shalom <laughs>